This video describes how to use the AMPLAT support wire technique in a step-by-step -step fashion. Uh, do you ever have a situation like this when you have a difficult takeoff close to the os of the coronary sinus or a case like this where the lateral wall target vein uh, is very close to the os or even at the os of the middle cardiac vein? or a case like this where the lateral wall target veins actually drain into the middle cardiac vein and so you need to get into the middle cardiac vein to implant or finally a case like this where you have a massively enlarged right atrium you can get into the coronary sinus but every time you try to do anything things fall out because uh, this your sheath is unstable in the coronary sinus so the AMPLAT support wire illustrated here, where we have the AMPLAT wire in the coronary sinus um, and the 9 French sheath outside the CS, uh, allows you to work um, near the os of the CS, and it also provides stability for situations uh, where the sheath is unstable. So this is just an example of using that. So the idea is uh, to get the support wire in here, and the, the more support of the wire, uh, the better. And so I find that the Cook Amplatz wire uh, is particularly useful in this, require, in this regard. So this is the, the J-tip Cook Amplatz wire that I strongly recommend. The problem with Amplatz wires is that they can difficult to advance, uh, because trying to advance a stiff wire to the CS tends to push the wire out rather than allowing the wire to go in. So you need a way to get the Amplatz wire deep in the coronary sinus. So to get the Amplatz wire deep in the CS, a vertebral vein selector or some other conduit uh, is required. I use the vertebral vein selector because I like its pushability and steerability. So the first step uh, is to get an angled 035 glide wire uh, into the coronary sinus and then out into the anterior interventricular vein, being careful to avoid uh, the vein of Marshall. So once you get the glide wire in, then you take the vertebral vein selector is advanced over the glide wire into the CS as we're doing here. So once you get the, the uh, vein selector to the tip uh, up here, um, then we're going to um, remove the glide wire. So that's the glide wire coming out. And then replace the glide wire with this 035 180 centimeter uh, Cook Amplatz extra stiff wire, which is then advanced through the vein selector. So you're really, in effect, depositing the or the Amplatz wire in the coronary sinus rather than advancing it into the coronary sinus. Once you get your Amplatz wire nice and deep into the coronary sinus, uh, you remove the vein selector, and so you've managed to get the glide wire or the Amplatz wire in. Now you don't want the wire sliding out while you're working, so you can either clip the Amplatz wire to the drape as illustrated here, um, or you can, you, you can clip it to the table uh, when you get a table that has the same height uh, and place perpendicular. So that stabilizes the wire. Now, a couple of really important points. The Amplatz wire must be a Cook wire because the Cook Amplatz wire gets stiff shortly after the tip. Uh, this is referred to as short taper. So you can see here uh, when you push the tip of the Cook Amplatz wire against your finger, it bends. The, so the floppy part is very short, and this, uh, the Cook Amplatz wire becomes stiff uh, right here. Whereas if you were to do the same thing uh, with any other brand of Amplatz wire, this whole section would bend, uh, and so you'd, this whole section would be floppy. So other manufacturers transition for floppy several centimeters from the tip. And this is a very important point because when you have the wire in the coronary sinus 
a Cook Amplatz wire in the coronary sinus, you have this whole stiff section uh, that's in the coronary sinus, and then the floppy section is here. So this gives you this whole section here to stabilize uh, your sheath. Whereas if you were using an alternative uh, Amplatz wire, this whole section would be floppy. And so the stiff to floppy transition would occur here, down by the os of the CS, um, and uh, that would tend to dis actually tend to displace the, the uh, Amplatz wire from the coronary sinus rather than giving you support. So I summarized uh, the technique here, the important points, um, and where it's useful, the, the uh, type of wire that you need, the importance of using the vein selector or some other conduit to get the Amplatz wire into the coronary sinus um, if you want to get it in good and deep and get a good solid support. Uh, and then uh, this is best done with a seven with a nine French internal diameter sheath like the Worley sheath because then there's enough room that you can work beside the Amplatz wire and finally the, the Amplatz wire must be a cook wire because it has a short taper and all the other Amplatz wires have a long floppy section. I know you'll find this useful uh, it's one of the most well-received techniques uh, that I find people using. Thank you.